Hello, Virgos. So, as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. It's dragonenchantress at awol.com. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Any donations are also appreciated. My donation link is right below in the description box as well. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Death, which is just an ending. It's not necessarily something bad. And there's a new beginning, it looks like, too. You got the star planting seeds. Nine of Wands. Six of Pentacles. I almost feel like a death and rebirth. Like, it feels like the situation isn't necessarily over. It's more like it's just... Like you're re you're re something's being redone right now. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. I feel like there was an imbalance situation with the King of Swords. This could be someone that this could be someone you're in a relationship with. Um, it might not necessarily be in a relationship, but I just feel like there's a King of Swords here, and feels like something came to an end, but it's going to be a blessing in disguise kind of energy so that you can come back to this in a different light. It's like you're, you're planting the seeds here. You know, nine of wands is to me, it's one final battle. And it's like what you're fighting for is you're fighting to bring balance here. This person might've been cold, closed off, distant, and you want balance for storage. You want equal give and take here. And you know, the situation may be needed to end in order for that to happen. Maybe you took them for granted or they took you for granted and, you know, something needed to be put to rest in order for that to shift. So it's like there's like a transformation is what I'm feeling here. Something, something's being transformed. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here too. Six of Swords. Two of Cups. Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. Hmm. What else? Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit. And the Four of Swords. like you're trying to manifest this love but it just feels like you might like there's like this fear and this anxiety and this worry and it feels like you're going to get a message but it, there might be some kind of dishonesty we got some of swords here like you know escapism dishonesty um conflict even it feels like it might be like a conf like a there might be like an energy of like conflict in the message or there might be some kind of dishonesty like someone hiding how they feel tell me more about this this page of swords and the seven of swords Five of Swords. Yeah, someone's defensive. The High Priestess, Eight of Wands. If you're in a third party, you might get a message from their person. If you're in a third party situation, you might get a message from the other woman or the other man. So I'm getting like a, just, I don't know, like I'm getting like a, a message, but you're not going to like it. Like, it's not like a, it's like you have the two of cups. So it's like you're, you're manifesting this new love with this king of swords. It's like this, whatever ended needed to end, you know, it was a good thing. It feels like, cause now you're with a star. It's like, you're planting these seeds, you know, you're, you're doing things differently now. Um, it's like something wasn't working. So it's like a, kind of like the tower moment. It's like something wasn't working. So that structure needed to crumble. So something new can be rebuilt. And God, it's just a tricky energy here. Cause there's someone that's really defensive here. High priestess, eight of wands. It's really, that's, you know, that's could be travel, could be messages and it's coming in quick. The high priestess is a woman that's intelligent, intuitive, insightful. 
It almost feels like if you're in a third party situation, this other person might know. Like intuitively, they might just know. Um, like they might just feel this energy. You know what I mean? Like they might just kind of sense that you're that their person is with you also, or that you're you're both talking to the same man or the same woman. Because I'm getting something with conflict. It's like, look at this Five of Swords, this defensive energy here. It's like she knows something too. See this book that's open? You know, it's like she's intuitive, she's insightful. He or she, male or female. It's like they learned something and now they want to come in quickly. Hmm... For some, I could also take this, you know, to be your, your person learn something and they want to come in quickly and clear this up. But for most, I mean, if it is your person coming in and messaging you, I feel like they're not going to be honest about how they're feeling. Like they're going to kind of be shutting you out. But um, how is this message going to go? But for most of you, I know I feel like this is someone else that's going to message you. Like, you're going to get a, a hidden truth that's going to come out about somebody is kind of what I'm feeling here. Like, there's something, something's like lurk. I don't know how to explain it. It's such a weird energy. It's like something's lurking behind, beneath the surface. It's like something is just going to pop out that's really unexpected. Knight of Pentacles. Very slow moving night. Mm, the Lovers. The Fool. Hmm. I feel like this person will come in, but it's like they're going to take their time. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Four of Cups. Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's interesting how you go from the Four of Cups to the Ten of Cups. It's like no movement at all to all of a sudden it's like you have your true love. You have everything. It's like it feels like this is going to happen eventually, but it just feels like there is a lot of chaos in between, unfortunately. So it's up to you if you to decide if this is worth it. Because, yeah, it's like with the chariot, it's like you you are you guys are moving forward. Like this will move forward, but it's moving forward at like, you know, this is the slowest night in the deck. And it's going to take a lot of strength to get through this, to move forward with this. I just feel like the conflict isn't over. Like there's something, God, there's something that you don't see here. There's like some kind of, someone's going to send you a message and they might be, there's either, there's either dishonesty in this message or there's conflict in this message or both. This could even be like a third party lying about your person to you to try to separate you guys. But I mean, it feels like, you know, you will, after a period of hard work, you will have that, that harvest, that reward. You know what I mean? Like that new start, you know, a new start in the physical Ace of Pentacles. Um, feels like you're going to need to do some healing. That was some going inward and kind of just retreating for a little bit and just, you know, healing with the Four of Swords here. But God, I want to look more into this because like what... I'm getting like the energy of like a tower moment, like a shock. Like you just, you wake up and you have a message in your inbox and you're like, what, where did that come from? You know? Or your person calls you and it's like, they lie about how they feel about you or they, they push you away or something. It just feels like, I want to say for most, this is probably a third party and this, the, the third party is thinking about reaching out to you. The Hierophant. Six of Cups, Nostalgia. So, yeah, someone's like so defensive. Like, look at this. We got the Five of Swords. We got the Seven of Wands. Like, both two cards that are just all about, you know, just defending what, they, what you feel is yours. Or someone else defending what they feel is theirs, I should say. Conflict, defensiveness, battle. Trying to control the situation. Hmm. Six of Cups is almost like, okay, to me, so the Six of Cups upright is, it can refer to children, um, innocence, anything that's like childlike, sweet, innocent, also nostalgia. It's, it's about the past. 
In this context, with it being reversed like this, I'm going to take it to mean, you know, whoever this is that's defensive is not in this energy anymore. They feel like they've been, you know, too innocent in the past or, or used or just too idealistic. And they're, they're coming out of this energy now because they want control and power. Show me more about this. Yeah, Three of Cups also talks about a third party in t Tower Moment. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say it like that. It's not nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Justice. Oh, shit, son. This isn't good. As a reader, I'm supposed to comfort you guys. I'm not very comforting, am I? I'm just like, oh, shit, you guys are screwed. No, um... You guys will be okay. It's it's honestly, it, it really is blessing in disguise energy. Like I said, I know that this death, whatever this was, you know, a death is like, a, it's like an ending. It's a transformation. I really got like a transformative energy. Like, yes, this is chaotic. It's dramatic, but it's meant to happen. You might be going through this chaos for a little while, but I think when you look back, it's going to lead you to something beautiful, whether it's with this person that you're in love with, or if it's with someone new, you're going to, I feel like I just get the sense that you're going to look back and you're going to have this deeper understanding of all of it. Like it's all going to make sense. You're going to see why things had to happen the way that they did, even though, you know, in the midst of it, it doesn't make sense. It just feels upsetting and chaotic. I understand that. And as always, like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. You know, like, share, comment. Maybe someone on your on your Facebook or Instagram or wherever needs to hear this. Um, so, yeah, please subscribe to me. But, um, God, yeah, Three of Cups. In this context, Three of Cups refers to a third-party situation. Angel de, de la Nude, in this deck, this was about the light after a period of darkness. So it's like, it's saying you are going to go through a period of darkness with this person. You know, this, this isn't going to be easy. This, this is going to be rough. So it's really up to you if this person's worth it to you. Like I said, I feel like it's, it's blessing in disguise energy. Like it's going to make sense in the end. Um, there's something hidden that you don't see coming here. There's a tower moment coming in that you do not see. I feel like this person, I feel like this third party wants justice. They want answers. They want to know what's going on. I feel like it could also just be talking about just justice in general. Like this tower needed to happen to bring about justice in this situation in general for you, for them, for everybody involved in this situation. I feel like your person was the king or queen of swords. They were someone that, you know, they're logical, they're intelligent, but they're, they're, they're cold, they're guarded, they're distant, they're in their head too much sometimes, you know, overly logical sometimes. And so I feel like this ending, it's like something needed to transform. You know, like it's just, it's going to make sense in the end. But let me just pull a few more cards. Can you tell me anything else about this message coming in? Three of Wands, Five of Cups, The Hanged Man, Eight of Swords. Hmm. It's a really interesting combination of cards. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna pull four more and then we're gonna see what it what it is. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. The Empress and the Magician. Hmm. God, it's such mixed energy. Ooh. And I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to my Virgos in, you know, my usual Virgo energy group that are not in third-party situations. I'm sorry that this was, you know, a specific message that needed to come out. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm sure, you know, maybe the next message will be different, more inclusive, but I know this is a very specific message. Um, but again, take it as it resonates, because if I'm telling you all this, like this could be like a brother or sister or like some kind of other relationship that, you know, just, just take it as it resonates. If you're looking at these cards and you're like, no, like I feel like the five of cups and the hangman and the eight of swords together means this, then, you know, take it that right, that take it that way. Just, just use your intuition here. But for me, I feel like the majority, like 90% of the people watching this, I feel like this is a third party 
unless your person just cheated on you in a third party and you're having, you know, a hard time getting through that energy or maybe maybe you cheated on them and, you know, they're wanting to come forward. They want to build with you, but they don't trust you. The trust is gone. But it, it does, whatever the situation is, it does look like you are building something here with somebody, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit hot and cold for a while, a little bit back and forth. You know, it's, it, you know, Nine of Pentacles is a very slow moving night, but it is stable. It is loyal when it does come in, but it takes its time coming in is the issue. I feel like this person, this third party this always feels aggressive to me. This three of wands in this particular deck, this always just feels really aggressive to me, honestly. I feel like... God, five of cups. It just, yeah, it really feels like a third party situation. I feel like you're just, it just, I get like this, this anxious kind of energy. Like someone's about to message you, whether it's your person that's in this third party situation or whether it's actually the third party themselves, you're about to get a message that you're not expecting to get. You're about to wake up. Like a lot of you are about to, and, and this might not come in into fruition. I feel like for most of you, it will. But not for all of you. For some, this person might chicken out. Because I feel like this person's having anxiety about this. Whatever this message is, it's one of those messages where you don't just, like, send it just like that. I mean, I guess they could get drunk and just send it whatever. Like, they could get pissed and drunk and just say fuck it and message you. For most, so I feel like they're really trying to word it a certain way. But it feels, it feels defensive. It feels like... Like, it doesn't feel like a good message, honestly. I hate to give you guys that. Oh, I hate to tell you guys that. I hate to tell you guys that. And as I always tell my, my YouTube followers, like, you don't have to. This is the story. You don't have to be in this, though. It's your life. You know what I mean? Like, you can say, you know what? I'm done with this third party. I'm done with this energy. Yeah, maybe, you know, thank you for letting me know that I could have him or her eventually, but we would have to go through all this first. But you know what? I don't want that. I want to I want to step back and manifest someone new. You can do that. You can be the magician, the empress. You can manifest new love. The world is your oyster. You know what I mean? Like, this is just the story, but you don't have to go along with this. You know, your life is what you make it. It's what you want it to be. You don't, you know, it might not be easy. I know it's incredibly painful, but I'm just saying that if you don't want this, if this doesn't feel like it's worth it to you, you're not obligated to stay in this energy. Because to me, this feels like a lot of stress. It doesn't feel like this person's coming back to you tomorrow or the next day. This feels, this feels like a lot of stress. It feels like a lot of hot and cold, a lot of... Um, you know, them giving you some hope and then them taking that hope away. And then just a lot of confusion until you guys finally get to that stable point. It feels like there are some rough lessons that you're both going to be learning in, in this process. So, it, you know, again, it's really up to you. You don't have to do this. You can step away and you can manifest a soulmate or someone that's just more on your level, someone that's like a little bit easier um, and doesn't have all this drama tied to them. So, you know, just, just take, you know, just do what you, do what you feel is right for you. you. You're not obligated to do this. Remember to cut cords. So if you do decide to let someone go, don't forget to cut the cords. It's really important. But, um, but anyway, for, for, to me, it feels like this third party is kind of wondering if your person's really let you go. Like they want this new perspective. They want to let go of the past, but they just feel like, like they're trapped in eight of swords energy. Like they're it just feels, you know, Eight of Swords, traditionally, it's someone that has, you know, in the traditional tarot, it's someone that has these swords all around them. And right in front of them is their castle and their true love and everything they could ever want. But they're like, they're trapped by these swords. They don't realize that they have this opening because they're so focused on the swords. And it feels like this third party is feeling this way. Like they feel so um, just trapped by this energy. You know what I mean? And they want to build with this person, but there's a lot of heartbreak. And I just feel like, God, then we have the Empress and the Magician. It's almost like they want to be you as well, and they can't be. But I feel like they want to know, like, hey, did are you guys really done talking? What's going on with that? Like, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups. The person with fire in their chart is going to be the winner here in the in the near future is what I'm feeling. The Queen of Wands is going to be the winner. Whoever's in the Queen of Wands energy is going to have that new start. 
Yeah, but then there's the Queen of Cups that's wants, that wants to come in too. What's going on with the Queen of Cups? The world. Yeah, someone's going to be ending a cycle with a Queen of Cups. The world in the Ten of Wands, that burden is going to be released. Six of Wands. And it's going to be made public that it's released. Seven of Pentacles. Patience, long-term perseverance. Knight of Cups. Five of Wands. Temperance. Hmm. For some, this person's going to come back around to you, but it's going to be too late. You're going to be ignoring them. You're going to be silent. You know, you're going to want that balance. You're not going to want to lose yourself in this situation again, and you're going to let it go with the Ten of Swords. Ace of Swords, and that's when they're going to message you. Queen of Swords, and you're going to be the Queen of Swords moving on with your life. Not for all of you, but for some. For some, you are going to be starting a new life, you know, and this person's going to come around too late. But, um, but yeah, there's a few different stories here. I mean, there's not a few different stories here. I don't know why I said that. But there's a few different variations of this story here. Um, but there's a message you don't see coming. Is, is Yeah, that's the main thing I get. But like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Um, any donations are appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.